One of the most significant fires in American firefighting history was the Strand Theater fire of 1941 that occurred in Brockton, Massachusetts. Hi, welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Glenn Corbett, Technical Editor of Fire Engineering. I'm Paul Dansback. I'm the Fire Marshal in Rutherford, New Jersey. Today's edition of Training Minutes, we are going to focus on an assembly occupancy. This is an old style movie house. This building was constructed in 1922 as a vaudeville type theater. The building consists of an audience, our main area, and our stage house. We're going to look at some of the fire protection features or explain some of the fire protection features of the building in this video. For a long time, theaters have been a major issue for us in the fire service, particularly the older theaters. This one is actually type three construction, but others we would call a higher grade, type one construction, including the Iroquois Theater fire where 602 people were killed in about 15 minutes back in 1903 in Chicago. So there's a long history of fire and fire safety issues in these kind of buildings. Any occupancy such as this would be considered a high risk occupancy for two reasons. Number one, because of the concentrated occupant load in the audience, and number two, because of the fire potential behind the proscenium wall, behind the proscenium arch. The fire load in this area is considerable. The fire load where we're standing right now on the stage is the big threat. We've got scenery storage areas. We've got a ton of ignition sources back here. We've perhaps got paints. We've got all sorts of things, costumes, all spread out behind us and above us here. And so that's why this barrier, this proscenium arch above our heads here, protects the audience from a fire that's back here. And so that's what's really important, that we need to make sure that all the features of fire safety uh, are in, in place and operational. As part of the post-fire renovation, an automatic sprinkler system was installed throughout the building. Also part of that renovation, the stage house. The area behind the stage house and to our right there were six stories of wood frame dressing rooms and storage areas. Part of the post-fire renovation demolished the six stories of wood frame, significantly reducing the combustible, the fuel package behind the uh, proscenium arch and the proscenium wall. Today, there's two stories of dressing rooms. The dressing rooms are wood frame with drywall finishes, again, reducing the fire threat or the fire potential behind the stage. And so some other features that you might find not only in this theater, but other theaters of this age would be smoke and heat vents up on the roof of the stage to, of course, allow smoke and heat to be vented out to prevent it from going out into the audience, basically. You also find that all the individual storage areas, dressing rooms, things like that behind the stage are all going to be sprinkled and there are going to be some level of fire resistance built into those rooms themselves. But again, at the end of the day, you've still got a lot of fuel load up here and you've got a lot of ignition sources. So, of course, proper inspections are always called for, but it is also important that you as a firefighter actually get into the building ahead of time to pre-plan and know what you're dealing with. Part of any pre-plan for an occupancy such as this needs to consider fire department access. Not vehicle access, but access into the building. Firefighting crews are not going to want to enter the building through the main entrance and exit for a fire that may be behind the stage. Identifying, locating, and ensuring the fire department has access to a point directly to the stage, such as this building, there's a loading door on what would be the B side of the building that would provide direct access for the fire department to fight any fire behind the stage. You know, in years past, the, a lot of these old theaters actually had class two standpipes on the stage themselves. Don't use those, those valves, don't use those hoses. Stretch your own hose line in through the stage entrance on the side. Again, as Paul mentioned, don't attempt to come through the same means of egress that people are trying to get out. One of the most significant fires in American firefighting history was the Strand Theater fire of 1941 that occurred in Brockton, Massachusetts. The building behind me was very similar to that theater up in Massachusetts. It featured steel truss roof structure as well as a significant amount of wood in the roof itself. And so when the fire occurred, it occurred actually started inside the basement, worked its way all the way up to the roof structure. There were several firefighters up on the roof making an attempt to ventilate the structure. And unfortunately, the trusses failed, the steel trusses failed, the entire roof came down, killing 13 firefighters. Fire departments with this occupancy type in their jurisdiction need to get out, become familiar with the building, 
develop a good solid pre-plan. Thank you for watching this edition of Fire Engineering Training Minutes.